it provides circulation, uh, lubrication, and relaxation. And these three factors all contribute to your body um, to work better, to heal itself. So that's, that's what seems <coughs> in the end. It's always about the patient, and that's what I miss with doctors. They often don't really think about the patient, but about, I don't know, their reputation. you tell us a little bit about um, your history? I think you have a, a beautiful history. I, I, I like what you have there, have written on your, um, uh, on your website there, just to kind of give us an idea as to what led you down this path. Yeah, so actually I'm from Romania. I was born and raised there in a very small village with uh, a lot of plants and herbs and uh, woods <laughs> and uh, my grandmother was always our doctor like our uh, our uh, healer woman and i learned a lot from her also about herbs and then um, when i was 16 we moved to germany and i got my first uh, my first bladder infection mm -hmm. and my grandmother said we are going to get horse tails from the field <laughs> <laughs> and you are gonna steam over <laughs> a bucket and that's what we did and it was not comfortable um, i didn't really enjoy it but it was very efficient because i never had a bladder infection again and that's the thing with bladder infection if you have it once it's very likely that it comes back or it's chronic i've that's seen that a lot i've seen that a lot so that was my first steaming experience in arriving in germany <laughs> <laughs> after arriving in Germany and um, I forgot about that and then later on um, I had recurrent infections like bacterial infections uh, um, um, what's the other bacteria vaginosis yeast infections uh, yeast infections yes yeah. Yeah. it was like ping pong like <laughs> yeah it, that, that was me too as well it's just I was yeah. just all the time bacterial vaginosis yeast infections i mean just horrible just horrible on a yeah, number totally yeah. yeah yeah just and, trying to manage it and <laughs> yet <laughs> yep and and yet it's so common and i remember i felt shame about it and actually it's nothing bad it's like a cold it's when you have a cold, you're not shamed about it, right? So right, exactly. Don't shame around vaginal infections, please. <laughs> doesn't make sense. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but now I know, but back then I was really like very, oh, it was awful. And I tried really almost everything, I, I think. I, I tried probiotica for, for the vaginal um, flora. I tried uh, creams and I also tried steaming back then because I I knew if it helps with bladder infection, maybe it also helps with this. But my mistake was I was steaming too hot. Mm -hmm. It was too hot and too long mm -hmm. because it increased my heat of the body. Yeah. And if you have too much heat, that already increases the infection also. So yeah. I tried it and thought, okay, no steaming is bad. Yeah. And then I came, I started learning uh, Ayurveda and in the Ayurveda school, I learned about steaming. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to make this for myself, the course from Steamitic. Chronic infections, you need to steam sometimes longer. Sometimes it takes only 10 days, but usually it takes longer to balance that out. And um, after two months, I got my uh, menstruation and a big surprise to me was that um, my, I used to have also painful menstruation on the first day, especially, mm -hmm. and I didn't have any pain. Oh. And I was like, what is happening? Mm -hmm. And then I waited for the next menstruation to come and it was the same without pain. And the blood was re very red, no brown blood and no clots. So I noticed, okay, something is happening. And that's when I also took it super seriously, the steam, 
business and thought, okay, I'm gonna have to share this with other people out there because it's easy to do, easy to implement at home and it, and it really works. Like I witnessed it because I, I got rid of my infection and of my menstrual pain. And also I used to have very long cycles. Like my uh, ovulation was on day 20 or more. So I had like 40 days. Oh, wow. cycle so it was usually it was very long yeah and that also got to 30 days so it also uh, balanced the steam also balanced that out and I was like couldn't believe it so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yep and that was motivation enough to, to, to totally to and yep yeah so yeah as I'm saying yes, ben benefits on all levels yeah, and that's the thing about it. When you experience something that has improved your life, the first thing you want to do is just share it with others. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I, I totally, yeah, totally. I totally understand where you're coming from from there. So then how does your online consultation work when you when you take yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I use an intake form. There are a lot of questions um, around the menstrual cycle. And I also implemented some Ayurvedic questions regarding the, um, your uh, digestion and uh, what type of uh, movement you make so that I know. And then I analyzed the menstrual cycle analysis intake form. And then we have um, a video call where we can um, discuss more questions or anything else that's coming up. And then I design your steam plan, how long you should steam, um, how often you should steam, and which herbs will suit you best. Okay. And um, that's the steam plan. And then also I advise you, depending um, on your cycle, monthly cycle, which foods you should incorporate in the first half, in the second half. So it's very cycle based if you have menstruation and if not it's also menopausal based or pre-menstruation mm -hmm. based um okay yeah and and i also recommend you a uh, different type of movement like for example belly dance and pelvic floor uh, training or um, um yeah i have like a lot of recommendations my and uh, you get the steam plan as a mini booklet and it's like 16 pages oh, wow, <laughs> with yeah. a lot of yeah it's like with a lot of recommendations and then we stay in touch and this is important i work with monthly plans like for one month two months or four months depending on what your uh, issue is you want to address so for example um, endometriosis or um, fibroids depending on how long you have got them or Mm, it may took uh, it takes longer mm -hmm. to to um, balance if you have an infection it may take just 10 days or one month and during this time um, stuff is happening or stuff is coming out <laughs> so to speak i always say it's like the pandora box once you open it you don't know what's going on <laughs> A very nice analogy. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and that's always also surprising to me because sometimes it's something I've heard, sometimes sometimes it's something new, and I always learn a lot with my clients. Yeah. And um, I'm I'm there because if like discharge is coming and the client doesn't know, okay, is this a good thing? Is it bad? Is it getting worse? Then I am available via chat or phone or email. And then I can say, okay, no, this is actually a very good thing or it's improving. And uh, this is very important, like to know, for example, that the next menstruation may be more painful because stuff is being um, diluted with mm -hmm. the steam. And then with the menstruation, it comes out. So it flushes the whole thing out. And this may cause more pain or the uterus to contract more because. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah it's not just blood coming out but with clots for example um yeah. depending mm -hmm. on the size it may be more painful but then after that 
it should be fine. Gotcha. So yeah, that's yep. That's why it's important to have like also the support. Yes. Want, and and also to keep on your steam plan because sometimes it's not that easy to implement depending on what your um, week is or when you have time. So I I find the support to be very very important for the healing and also just knowing there is somebody there who I can write and she's going to answer me in the same day or a couple of hours or yeah. yeah okay all right very good makes sense that's nice to know though okay um so um Diana what are some of the top reasons as to why uh, uh women or, or, or males may come to you uh, to seek uh, services when it comes to uh, pelvic steaming? Yes, yeah, so the most common ones I had was our endometriosis. Okay. This is very common. It's very common here in Germany, especially. Um, adenomyosis also, which sometimes comes together with um, endometriosis. Fibroids also. Uh, infections. Um, I'm always glad when uh, clients with infections come to me because that's the easiest to treat. <laughs> that's the easiest to treat. Yeah. <laughs> like I know this is gonna be is gonna go faster. <laughs> then with endometriosis is really not that easy depending on which stage. There, yeah, okay. The endometriosis is yeah. But I also I also had um, labor prep people coming to me steaming for labor preparation to ease the labor. I also had postpartum recovery clients uh, and also fertility mm -hmm. who want to get pregnant mm -hmm. and uh, also sexual trauma. Yeah. Very good. Oh wow. So it's yeah it's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is pretty broad. Oh, wow. Okay, didn't know that. So yeah, but you learned something. Boy, I'm, I'm telling you, I, wow, I just, I never realized, you know, just how helpful or uh, how significant um, that pelvic stem, steaming plays a part in um, our healing process. So that's, that's yeah. really good to know. All right. So, um, uh, Diana, we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap things up. But before we go, I just want to ask you, are there any parting words or wisdom or advice you want to share um, uh, just regarding uh, so, someone who, who maybe wants to try this for the very first time? Yes, yeah, so I would definitely encourage you to try it out. Really easy to to do at home, and if you try it out, do it only for ten minutes. That's always the safe thing to do, especially if you haven't done it before. Ten minutes is totally sufficient. You'll notice, <laughs> and don't steam too hot. You'll notice that too. Be careful not to burn yourself because that's like the number one contradiction. <laughs> but uh, if you're careful careful enough and use your discernment it's not gonna happen so don't worry about that and then um, um, if you want to um, treat something with steaming definitely book a consultation there are a lot of certified steam practitioners out there who can help you and in general if you regardless what um, problem you have there always a solution out there yes. and only because a doctor tells you you have no other solution you have to take the medication your whole life or you need an operation or a surgery always go for another opinion yes. and then and then only because the doctor doesn't know because it's the doctor who um who can't offer you another solution, but this doesn't mean that there isn't another solution out there because there is, you just have to find it. Yes. And it's your journey and it's not gonna be easy, but it'll be worthy in the end. Yes, and I, I can mean, speak from yeah. experience so and can you I, too, yeah. I, yeah, that's something so, I can totally testify with and very good advice. And I thank you so yeah. much for sharing. 
I, I, I don't think, I, I think it's, it's something that, you know, people uh, shouldn't overlook or should be so ready to always try to opt out and, and find a quick solution because sometimes a quick solution can, can lead you down a path that would take you a long time to kind of, to turn things around, you know what I mean? So, um, and with a holistic approach as you're, you're, you're saying here um, that, you know, medication surgery is not the final answer or there, or receiving a response of there's nothing that we can do for you you know, there's always a solution. Um, and it's up to us to kind of uh, dig a little deeper and find out what that solution is and what works for us. So um, with yeah. that, Diana, I thank you so much for taking the time out and sitting down with me. And um, I look forward to working with you more and more in the future. Thank you for this awesome opportunity. I enjoyed it. And I hope folks People have learned something new and they're eager and courageous to try it out yes. by themselves and yes. see by themselves. Yes, <laughs> I know I have. I, I've learned something new and I, I am definitely going to try this out <laughs> for sure. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>